craft deck. Well, here we go. Just pass over this room. This is my craft room. And although, yes, I have been doing some little work on a little desk, this is why my craft room is an absolute mess um, normally. Th this is my lovely bench that Nathan helped made and we did the resin. Normally that's in the centre of the room um, with my monitor and everything else on it. However, my son has been here and I gave up my craft room for him so that he could sit at a desk and have his desk to study and work and all that. He, uh, he leaves. Either by the time this video is out, he has left, but he's about to be leaving. And, um, yeah, I get my craft room back. So what I have to do is... <laughs> Even that, that's my clothes drawer. It's winter here. So yeah, I have to actually get to and sort out my craft room. Some of it looks semi-organised. However, whenever I've grabbed something, I have just gone bang and placed it up on a table or a bench. Um, there's no cameras, no monitors, no nothing on this desk. It's just piled up with crap. So, job coming up, craft room, when my son moves out and his desk is gone, I get my room back and we get to uh, redoing and tidying up my craft room and getting it organised. So yeah, I'm going to sit in diamond paint and uh, I'll have a bit of a chat. Oh yep, yeah. look, there we go. I'm coming out. This is my mess. Back at that window. That's where I started. And I keep trying to record, but I can't. But I am actually working on a diamond painting. Excuse the fact that I have a glass of coke on there. I am, yet again as per usual, another diamond shop. Um where is my little poppet? Misty. different footprints now we now have little misty is our addition sit misty sit good girl can I go up good girl so she is about 16 weeks and a rather excited little pocket rocket who chews everything including garden beds and I will actually I will show you because this is what we're dealing with now I have been in bed sick and she has I don't know how my windows are too dirty she has actually dug out my sprinkler system out of that side garden bed haven't you pop it you will chew everything and that looks like another something you shouldn't be chewing Oh, hot hands. Where the hell did you get that from? So, yeah. Let's sit in diamond paint and have a bit of a chat and update. So, yeah. What's been going on? Way too much, but not enough. <coughs> you will hear that there is a bit of a husky voice. A certain somebody. Finally. <laughs> I shouldn't say finally, but a certain somebody got COVID. So I am recovering from a little case of COVID. <coughs> um, well, Friday, so that was Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days ago. So doing pretty well now. Um, do a cough still. And obviously a lovely, lovely, lovely sounding voice. What am I working on? I've mentioned earlier, Jeremiah Morelli, Moonlight Bay, 90 by 60. Right, so where have I been? What are my plans? 
I keep saying, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, and I know, and then it's like, I try to record, and oh my god, I forgot what it's like to try and record out in the open, and then edit out in the open, but I forgot about the fact that I have a child that also doesn't work Monday to Friday, now Nathan now works Monday to Friday, um, but Dion was... Yeah, he was all over the place, and with my roster, it just made it bloody near impossible. So, just waiting to get him, not being mass nasty, because I don't really want him to go, but once he gets out of the house, uh, that's when I start working away and getting things done. Uh, plans in that way, so I will try to do a video while I'm doing cleanup <laughs> while I am attempting to put everything in its rightful place and getting myself organized what I will be doing is I will be um, how would I say I, I will be cleaning up I will be getting stuff out of the uh, classroom and uh, disowning it is probably the best way to put it. Oh. And then from there, what do I want to do? One of the things I really enjoy doing and I haven't done much of because I don't have the craft room, so I can't play with resin. Even if I had the craft room playing with resin, there's a totally different kettle of fish with Dion around because. Uh, the resin affects him so um so there hasn't been much so i haven't done any resin work <laughs> i have tried it's like oh i want to do it I want to set this up to do something and then oh, i missed a couple of pages and then um it's like no i can't do it because by the time i try and set up level the desk the smell stays in this end of the house which is where Dion obviously sleeps this end of the house so uh, it was a case of well I can't resin um, there has been somebody resin Nathan's been using my resin <laughs> oh boy is he enjoying the fact that I have resin oops come on uh, so yeah um, what else going on so yeah I am hanging to get into the resin with that being said, I brought some moulds. I do have, <laughs> I've still got Sophie and Toffee boxes that I um, have opened up. I don't think I did unboxing videos for. I've opened up and gone, yeah, I'll do these later. So there's some cute stuff to do. But I've also brought some new moulds. And I'm going to attempt, and I will say attempt, uh, to put things on the Etsy market again. However, the Etsy market, I will try to only do it, won't be for the US or the overseas at this stage. Um, I just, especially with the price of freight, um, it's just too hard, too hard to do. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know if anybody would be interested in, in, that's in Australia that's interested in any of the resin stuff I do. But I'm about to start trying to do some decent stuff in mould. So um, I'm never, never happy. I haven't been happy about any of the fruit. I've done some free flow vase work stuff and I'm just not happy with it. So yeah, give another go. But using uh, resin moulds and that. So I actually did order some last night, uh, so they're on their way eventually getting here, uh, and they'll get here by the time I have had the opportunity to um, clean the desk, clean the craft room, get myself organised. Uh, what else? What else? So. Okay, so what's happened in my life? I don't know what my last update was. I can't remember. So, 
we'll go through a few things. So Dion has finally finished all his studies. Um, so he's now going off to Queensland <laughs> to live with his girlfriend. Um, I will say he actually got he 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 completed his degree. His, he completed his degree um, and then decided that he wanted to do another boot, court, boot camp type thing which was like another six months, another 12 grand because you know, he missed out on jobs. So he went and did it um, and he's got a, he has got a job to work with another with a company to do with his degree, <laughs> not to do with his boot camp work. <laughs> but anyway, anyway. That's a whole totally different kettle of fish and nothing to him. But basically, he's now got a job. Not It's not a job. Um, this is chat difference. He actually has a career. So this is where things change and make, make things all good. Um, yeah. <coughs> I just got message three. Um... So yeah, uh, his girlfriend arrives here, well, today, sometime, and then he basically, excuse the neighbour's dog, he he basically packs up, or he already has started packing up, um, and they're on their way driving back to Queensland, So, but they're going via home, so they're going via Esperance, um, so that he can introduce her to all the family down there and they can meet her and hopefully they'll like her as much as I like her uh, so yeah that's um, basically by the end of the week he'll be gone so basically in five days but I'll have the house to me and Nathan again <laughs> and little Misty who I don't know if you can hear her tiptoeing around her claws aren't half as bad as boys ah, okay now so that's one part of the family that's Dion Patty has um, had baby number two so another little boy hang on just looking for more ends Misty what are you destroying this time? Um, so yeah, Bob's been, grandbaby was born, beautiful little boy, uh, everybody healthy. Um, so that's that side of the family down there in Estrance. Nathan, <laughs> yeah, he's the same. His work's changed a bit where he's only working, he doesn't work well, he very rarely works weekends. Do I want new or do I want... I want new. Um, so, ba so basically, he is home on weekends. Um, so that's changed with him. He used to work some weekends, but now not so much. Not so much. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. Um... So, what else has gone on? Well, in, obviously, I've said COVID it hit our house. Uh, it hit Dion. Hit Dion hard. It's hit me. I would actually say it hasn't hit me hard. I think I've been very fortunate. Um, yes, I've had the cough, the irritating cough. Um, but I, yeah. My fear when I was going through another coughing fit last night was um, concern about Nathan. If he gets because he's asthmatic and it's gonna, it's gonna really affect him. So yeah, we got that one to come. <laughs> Three seven six six. Um, yeah, so that's that side of things. 
don't think there's much more going on. Um, I've done a little bit of four wheel driving, so I've taken my, my Jeep out and done some four wheel driving. Been uh, rather interesting. I'll try and slot in here <laughs> some footage of Nathan on <laughs> my. Um, I had the camera set up. Obviously, I've got a camera setting up, set up looking forward, but <laughs> the one you're looking at <laughs> is facing back at us. <laughs> oh, wasn't that fun? <laughs> oh, God. I enjoy four-wheel driving, but I don't think I'm going to enjoy it when Nathan's in the car. But... <sighs> he tells me that I get excited, and then you just listen to him, and it's like, oh, my God. No sound on that video, obviously. <laughs> um, so that's Nathan, a bit of four-wheel drive. We haven't done any camping. Uh, but, so let's get on to the craft side of things. I have a very, very small section of desk that I am able to craft on. Um, I got so out of practice with my cramp, cr cramping crafting that when I first start, went back to diamond painting <laughs> I had terrible backache and I actually went to the chiropractor to get straightened out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> funny not funny, I know. And yeah, I went and got, got straightened out a little bit and uh, that made a little bit of a difference. Been going back to it quite a bit lately. <laughs> um, so yeah, well, what else going on? Work. I had a little share, a little bit of work with you. I'm still there. Um, we and I hope none of my workmates are listening to this, but there's a mob of freaking whinges at work. Um, you hear so much bullshit go around but it's more one person starts up on something and then those that are actually not happy just jump in and throw their boots in as well and it's like oh my god so, work is work we do what we have to and we all have to do our jobs I'd rather still enjoy the job still enjoy the job so yeah which is a good thing. Uh, <laughs> we've gone through, so since 12 months, when I went away last year on a big camping trip, when I came back, I had a new boss. <laughs> okay. And now I've got another new boss. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, not revolving doors there, but let's just say the team I work in are high maintenance. That's oh, quite funny. I don't think they're going to find a supervisor that's going to settle things down until they actually deal with the actual people that are causing the problems. Yeah. It's like, mm. oh no, it's not my fault. Not, 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 it's not the supervisor's fault. Or is it the supervisor's fault? Because I can't say, pull your freaking head in and just, <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. Um, so anyway, that's what craft wise. Yeah, I've done, basically I've been done and painting. I have had an attempt on doing some embroidery, not cross stitch embroidery. A uh, bit of a struggle. I am going to go back to it, but just when I need, when I have more desk space. Yeah. So when I get more desk space, I plan to uh, pick it up and actually give it a good hot go. Because I actually enjoyed it. Well, I don't know whether you can hear background noises, stuff happening in the house, which is why I like the craft room. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've done a little bit of a go of some embroidery. 
uh, which was um, embroidery from bleu. Embroidery was from Vietnam, um, which is really they they um, are doing. They dye their own uh, cotton, so it's not it's not like buying your floss. Um, straight off the shelf they actually dye it for the design for the pattern that they give so um, even if somebody else did the same one you know yet again you know slightly different right around you know that's the type, type of thing um, so I've done that I've done a, a little bit a small bit small bit of um, actually I've got one right here of charcoal. I don't know how much you can see in that, but I've got another plastic. But I did the door and I did it for my son. That's it, I forgot. I did it for my son and um, he went back to Westminster without it. So I need to actually give it to my other son to take it down with him. Because, you know, I did do it for him. And they left it behind. I don't know whether it was intentional or not. I don't know. Uh, so I still, I actually still, I have not cancelled the subscriptions to the charcoal because um, it is such a joyful thing to do. Is that joyful? Enjoyable, probably. Enjoyable is probably a better word for it. And it still surprises me when I can create what, they say you can create it's just absolutely wonderful to do um what else i don't know what can i say stay tuned i'll be there so i'll be back soon um what i'm going to try and do is just do a heap of videos and then just put them all out all in a go you know well not all in one go but I'll do a heap of videos heap of recording get them up and uploaded and I'll try and gradually make them live and while that is all in place start to uh, do, do my work get my things done in the craft room because I am missing I really am missing it now I've had a lot of time away from it. Um, I haven't even been doing much in the way of watching YouTube, which is, you know, I've been listening to audio books. Um, so, yeah, might try a slightly different style. I don't know whether I'll talk as much in my videos or what I'll do. We'll see. Um, you know, I do tend to grab it on. Um, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. Nothing major, no nothing dramatic, but just when I can get my craft room sorted, I'm, uh, I'm going to be back and up and operational again. Um, I think that's about it. About it. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I think just once my son disappears to the uh, other side of the country and I get the craft room back, it's really sad. I'm looking forward to a craft room, getting my craft room back, but <laughs> I'm not looking forward to him leaving <laughs> at all. Uh, his life. It's one of the things I did turn around and say to his girlfriend when she was here last. I said, I don't interfere in his life. I won't make phone calls and ring constantly. You know, I had the boys, I raised them, and it's their lives now. I've done what I can to try and make them have good health and have good lives. Um, but they need me. I'm there. All it takes is a phone call and, and I'll be there. So, yeah. Hopefully she remembers that, that, you know, 
they have any problems that yeah, or should all it takes. Here's a phone call or a message and I will be there. Hmm. So I think about that's about it. Just a short update. Um, I've changed it's funny, I've kind of changed how I do my diamond paintings. I'm still staying um, I'm still mark lining off, so I'm setting a top and a bottom. But now, I don't set a defined edge. It's really quite a different way to work. And I've actually found it a little bit um, better. How do I, I suppose better? Because because um, you know, when we line things up, get everything perfect, you get this edge, whereas it's more, well, well the word would be organic um, for joining. But there we go. A little bit of an update. Um, hopefully I'll get my voice back properly soon and COVID, I was all gone. Um, we'll see. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for joining me on this little bit of a chat. And thank you. I'll uh, talk to you later and bye for now.